it's hard now. I think it's harder to be a good casting director now because the world is so much bigger. I mean, I used to have this really simple advice, which was to, you know, to watch a lot of television, watch a lot of movies, start making lists for yourself, and every time you see somebody that you like, write their name down. You know, when you, if you watch a television show, if you watch a movie, if you, you know, every time you go to a play, keep lists, keep cards, do all that. I don't know if it's possible to do that anymore, but I think it's really what it's about. It's just, uh, is, you know, seeing as many people as you can, finding, going to as many plays, workshops, as you can. There's no, I don't think there, I don't think there's any way to learn it, to be a casting director. You have to, I think you, and now of course you don't even have to negotiate because apparently business affairs does that. I used to think that the biggest part of being a casting director was to be able to make a deal is to understand the contract, study the contract, know the contract, know how to negotiate, because that was a big deal. But I think now that the studios do that or, the, or they have negotiators do that for you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the big things I always did was negotiate my own deals. I think you should take courses in contract law and know the, you know, learn the contract. But I think the main thing is to just learn... Now I think what you have to learn how to do is to learn how to interview actors, read them, and be able to tell from a reading their ability. It's a different, because you're not going to have a chance to see them work in, in, a, in, a, um, in a created setup. You're going to have to create that setting. You have to have, so I guess you just have to have confidence in your own judgment that what you like is the right thing.